Hello, and welcome to another video on the Three Pedal Devils channel. Rapping like a razor red stick, and I whisk it, and stink. She suck at my wet her lipstick, ooh. Check up on a bitch like a dipstick, ooh. Yeah, she on me like a misfit. Rapping like a razor red stick, and I whisk it, and stink. She suck at my wet her lipstick, ooh. Check up on a bitch like Alright, so I saved the best for last on this build. Um, today is finally going to be the day I'm going to rebuild the carbs because about a week ago uh, it just started leaking fuel non-stop so I'm thinking one of the floats is stuck or something like that. So I got a rebuild kit from Mike's XS. Shout out that website, they're the best. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start by taking off the carbs, which should be pretty easy because now that I've done everything I did to it, it left a lot of room around here. So we're gonna take them off, bring them to the back table where Bo and Connor over there are also doing rebuild, rebuild kits. these bad boys out they're leaking fuel that was easily the, the easiest um, I've ever been able to take carbs out um, so we're gonna go drain them take them apart see what they look like but first real quick as I'm noticing how bad it was leaking there is and I hope you guys can see this tons of fuel just sitting in there Gotta, I don't know, figure out something about that. But yeah, let's go take these baddies apart. All right, so we got the carbs here ready to, oh, this one's pissing. That's why the tree's there. Look at all that fuel. Um, what about you, you wanna piss at all? Yes, you do. Before we get started though, I'm going to look at the carb kits I got just to see what they look like. Very simple, just got that single gasket for the bowl and then um, main jet, primary jet, secondary, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna mess with this side at all i'm just gonna take the bowls off and we'll start one at a time actually i'm gonna drain this out now so i'll be right back all right that's all drained out god damn it whatever um from what i can tell looks like we just have four bolts here here and here so i'm gonna start by doing that All right, so part of the reason I decided to rebuild these is because when I got the bike, it had been sitting there for either 12 or five years uh, with bad gas in it and everything. So I'm assuming that these are gonna be pretty gummed up. So far from what I'm looking at though, it's not looking too bad. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, that might've been the issue. This was just sitting in there willy nilly. Take this pin out. All right, this 70s ass uh, carburetor is really confusing, so I'm just gonna start by replacing the jets and not figure out how it works, because I really don't care. So I'm gonna start with the main jet, and apparently this is the main jet cover, because the main jet is in the bowl cover for some reason. 
down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's the old versus new. Old doesn't look too bad to be honest, but this is for mid-range and high speed, so I wasn't really having an issue with that anyways. I was just having an issue at low range. Looks a little bit dirty in there. Put the new one in. All right. Uh, now that that's done, we're gonna take the needle jet out, and from what I read, yep, that just pulls out like that. Uh, it didn't come uh, with a new replacement of one of these, whatever one of these are, but this one seems like it's in fine condition anyways. Set that off to the side, and what I do need to do is take the top side off, because that's how I get access to the top part, so I'm gonna do that real quick too. There's the old needle now. Um, it has this pin or whatever you want to call it on there, and then each line marks like whether it's gonna be if it's gonna run like really rich or really lean. Um, I believe towards the top it's supposed to be really rich. Nope, towards the top it's really lean. So if I put this pin or this um, clip up higher, then it'll be really lean. I'm going to put it exactly where it was because. Like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't having issues with mid-range. All right, so it goes needle first, then this little hockey puck, and then spring. Okay, now it's in there good. Kind of. Just put this thing back on. Like so. Alright, um, now that we got main jet done, we're gonna do pilot jet, and the pilot jet is that one right there. So I'm going to quickly just take that one out, screw the other one back in. All right, now that I got the pilot jet in, I'm gonna work on this part. All right, um, now we just have to do the pilot mixture adjusting screw, which is this one right here. And it goes to this one right here. So I'm just going to pull that out real quick. Alright, that's all done. Um, just got to put the bowls back in. And... Then I'm gonna check bowl height to make sure that's okay. Clean up these gaskets, put the new gasket in, and then this one's all done. And then I'm not gonna film the second one unless something is worthy of filming, but we'll just throw these bad boys back on and start her up and then do idle adjustment and everything. All right, I've finished rebuilding both carbs now, so all I have left to do is reinstall them and then start the bike and hopefully I did it right.
All right, I'm gonna try and start it up now. The battery died yesterday, so it's the next day. Um, hopefully things go well. No gas was leaking and I left the packox open, so everything seems fine. Got power now. I'm kind of terrified, to be honest. This might be extremely loud. Yeah, because I cored out the exhaust, so there's a good chance this is gonna hurt my ears. I'm gonna sound really bad. Sounds pretty good. It's really fucking loud. Yeah. That was first startup. First pump. Chokes off and I didn't give any throttle. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to do the tuning video in a separate one later on. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you made it this far, like and subscribe, please. Um, that's pretty much it. Tell me what color I should uh, exhaust wrap my headers or if I should not do that at all. I'm thinking black, but I also kind of want to do like a tan goldish color. So let me know down below.